everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to join attribute tables in QGIS or in other words how to perform table join in QGIS so here we are going to have two tables one is the uh, attribute table in the uh, layer that is point layer and other one is uh, the uh, table which is in excel file so how we are going to combine it together so that is what we are going to say in this video so first let me add the layer file select the option layer and select add layer after doing it once again select add vector layer here you can see the browse option where you can find the uh, file in your drive and choose it so I have chosen the file so it is a point file now let me add it after adding it let us check the attribute table here you can see in the attribute table you can find two uh, fields one is a well number and another field is village here we'll be having the village name and here we'll be having the well number so in order to uh, join this uh, both, ta both the tables together we must have some common field so here our common field is under the well number so you can see the well number here and now let me open the file manager here I'll be showing you how the excel file looks like or how the excel table looks like so this is the excel file where you can uh, get the information uh, about the well number you can see TDS, uh, CA, MG, K, uh, CL, SO4 likewise information has been found so we are going to merge the excel table with the layer table in QGIS so you can see I previously shown you you can see the values the common uh, we, we must have a common field to perform this table join so here you can see the well number and all so here you can check the numbers as well as you can check the well numbers in the layer field so you can see both of this is having a common number so that it can be merged together so this is the important thing in joining the attribute table so now let me close this and in order to bring this uh, excel file excel table to QGIS first we need to convert it into a CSV file so hit the button file and hit the button save as now hit the button browse and we are going to save it as a CSV file CSV you can see here select it if you want you can change the name or directly hit the button save so after saving it let me close the excel file and we just go back to the QGIS now we are going to add the CSV file which we have saved from excel file once again click on the layer and hit the button add layer now we are going to select you can see add delimited text layer select it and you can see the browse option on the right hand side corner select the button now you can see here we have saved it in the csv file format so you can see it select the option open here you don't have to change anything and hit the button add so we have added the table so excel table which we have converted to csv file now let me open this uh, table and uh, let me open this uh, attribute table and show you how it looks like you can see here we are having the well number tds information so it has been successfully imported to qgas now let us see how to join this together how to join the attribute table of the layer and how to join the attribute table of the excel file together so now click on the uh, layer file and right click on it go to the option properties here you can find the option called as joins so after uh, selecting joins you can see the option over here add new join select it here you can see join layer our join layer is nothing but the water quality data so you can see here the 
file which we have converted to csv that is the join layer here you can see the join field so join field is nothing but the field which we are going to join the common field so the common field which is present in the excel file or csv file so here the common field is nothing but the well number and the target field is nothing but the layer field and here also we will be selecting the well number as a common field so that these two will be joined together here if you want you can uh, select the option joined fields so that you, you can uh, choose uh, which file you need and which you don't need for example if you just need TDS, CA and MG you can directly select it and click the option OK it will be automatically added the rest of the field will be omitted likewise so now let me unselect the join fields and you can see here custom field name prefix so here I am going to if you want you can leave it as bank or you can uh, fill it up uh, please uh, make sure that you are filling it up shortly otherwise uh, uh, the information which, uh, which is present in the table won't be visible after uh, the export so here I am going to use WQ or if you want you can leave it uh, blank also now let me click OK and apply it and click OK so now let me open this layer file so we have joined it successfully let me open the uh, attribute table of this layer file and check it whether it has been successfully joined so you can see here it has been successfully joined and you can see here the well number village name so you can see the TDS information that is the water quality information you can find so it has been successfully joined together both the layer attribute and the excel attribute has been joined together successfully so we have done it successfully you can see here I have added WQ so that is why it has been shown on the top if you want you can leave that uh, as empty also so that only TDS will be shown on the top uh, the field name will be shown on the top clearly now let me close this and in order to save this successfully we need to export it to a different uh, layer so right click on it and uh, select the option export here once again hit the option save feature as after doing so you can browse it and uh, choose where you need to save it so here let me uh, give a name water quality now hit the button save now we are going to hit the option ok and you can see here it has been successfully exported the layer has been successfully exported now let me check how it looks like let me open the attribute table you can see here now it has been exported to a new layer and you can see it has been successfully the information which we have added is being successfully saved so if you want to remove this that I will be showing you so we have exported it into a separate layer file for example if you want to remove the join which you have done previously so let me remove this file if you want to remove the join which we have performed previously once again right click on this uh, layer and hit the button properties once again we need to select the join option here on the top you can see join layer water quality data that is uh, WQ you just have to select this file and uh, in order to remove it you can select this option remove selected join so we have successfully removed it then let me apply it and give ok now let us check it once again how it looks like so you can see here the table join which has been uh, performed earlier was removed successfully so thanks for watching this video if you find it difficult to understand you can just ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions uh, thanks for watching Terra, Terra special please do subscribe the channel and 
give a like and thumbs up goodbye everyone